Hello, I am going to be starting another project and I think that I'm going to do another pattern by Judy Gale Roberts and it is a rhino. I found some black walnut and it looks like it's been glued together like three boards so I'm going to use this. I scanned in the pattern and then I printed off each little section that I need to, to cut out for each piece. I have some pieces glued to the black walnut for the rhino. And I have the horns glued to this lighter piece of pine for the horns. I want to use some paduk, which is like an orangish color. I really like it. And I'm gonna use that for the eye, I hope. I'm gonna use the bandsaw to cut the horns. During the fruit bowl project, for those of you that followed along with me, I, when I printed the pattern off of my scanner, it printed at like 57% or something like that. So I made sure to put it at 100% this time so that it's the same size as the pattern. Here is the pattern underneath the plexiglass and here are the two horns that we just cut out and we can see they are the same size as a pattern, so that'll make it nice and it'll be big, which I want. I am using this piece of wood, which is, I always called it wenge, but I guess it's wenge. I don't know how to say it, but anyway, it's dark. And I wanted to have something darker than black walnut, and so this is it. And we had a big, huge board of it. And so I've cut the pieces that are supposed to be a little bit darker, the middle of the eye, the middle of the ear, and the middle of the nose. Fun stuff. I think that we're getting to the point where we can take the papers off. And my concerns are where that walnut is glued together and it has a darker stripe if those stripes don't line up, it's going to look a little check checkerboard like. Okay, there it is with the papers off. Cool. Might make this eye orange, but I'm kind of liking it black. And this ear, I need to finish cutting out piece broke, I'm gluing it, and then this piece, somehow, I, I missed cutting part of it. So I have to recut that, but I have to wait for that to glue. Hello, my clean as you go philosophy has backfired on me because I threw away a piece I need. So I'm searching through the garbage, making a pile of all the pieces that couldn't fit, And I have one more place I can look where I was throwing spare pieces. That's in the extra bin of small pieces. I think I found it. Cool, I found it! Just like that. So, you don't have to search anymore. Yay, I found it! <laughs> Another backfire is now all those pieces I threw away. As I'm looking at them, I'm thinking, I could use that piece. I could use that piece. So I'm keeping all the pieces I throw away now. <sighs> the rhino is now ready for sanding. I fixed that one ear piece that I had to work on earlier. Got it all fixed. And like I said, I'm liking the black eye. So we're just going to start sanding. Cool. Sanding. It's looking like 
I may need to add a riser on that horn just because I want to stand up a little bit more. Instead of making risers, little risers, I am just cut another piece so that when you see it from the side, it'll just look like the same material because it is the same material. I put a little glue on there. I added another piece of wood underneath the eye to make it stick out a little bit and another piece of wood underneath the ear to make it stick out a little bit. I'm looking at the nostril here and I'm seeing that I want the nostril to stick up a little bit, a little bit higher on this end than this end, but I don't want to take, I don't want to take this down further. So I'm going to make a riser underneath and I'm going to angle it so that it'll make the nose stick up. Oh, I'm using this piece of wood that I got from that free wood bin, and I don't know what it is, but it's working great for extra wood that you can't see. So I'm gonna cut that out, see how it works. See how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna set the riser in there. Ah, uh, there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. And then we'll be making it lower, of course, but yeah, I like it. Cool. Let's take a break and see what the husband's doing. What are you working on? Making a special joint gun case. Oh, is that the joint you were going to teach me how to do? Maybe. What kind of wood do you use in there? Oak and black walnut. Nice. So I end up with a nice contrast joint here. Oak isn't the easiest to use on this, it likes to split out, so. Yeah, that's why I don't like oak too much. But the walnut's very nice. Let and me... we'll end up putting a nice little piece of cherry in this on each side. Once we get this kind of straightened out, I'll cut that up and put that nice piece of cherry in there. And this will now be my pistol case. Nice, look, can I see that joint again, please? Okay, let's show you a nice good good one there. Oops, I can't see. Ooh, nice. I like it. Hello. It's very hot today. I have the fan out here blowing on me because it's so warm and I like it. And I've been sanding the rhino today. I've sanded everything once with the 220 sandpaper, except for this ear, and I'm working on that ear, but uh, I think the flowiness of the rhino face is going to work. I was scared that I messed it up a little bit, which I might have, but oh well, it's art, and you can do what you want. I'm working on shaping that ear up there. It, it's kind of standing up a little bit high and I want it to uh, come out from the head like that instead of up like that. So I'm making, I just designed that a little bit more and I think I need to make it even more of an angle. And so I'm gonna do that now. I 
I sanded it so that it would go up like that and in like that. Let's see how that looks. Oh yes, that's much better. Holy cow, it's six o'clock and I've been sanding all day. Kind of dusty. But I think I am liking the Rhino. There it is. First sanding with with the 220 sand or with the ah. Uh, first sanding with the 100 grit sandpaper. That's it for the day. Getting ready to glue the Rhino onto this platform. And I'm just gonna slide it, if this will work, onto this other thing. Have it all glued up a little bit gappy but that's okay because it's art I triple lead the eye only give it a, a little extra shine and I'm gonna let that dry now and then I'm going to spray it and we'll be done it's all dry and we found some attack cloths at Home Depot. Usually we had to, to order them out. Picks up all the extra dust so that I can spray it. And I have dust on there. Oh yeah, lots of gaps. Lots of gaps here on the ear. Oh well. Like I always say, it's art. Make it how you want it to make it. It's for fun. Awesome. Let's spray it. I see a couple spots that I need to sand. Either some glue got on it or something's messed up, but that's okay, it's easy to fix. But we'll let that dry for now. I think we might be done. That ends another episode and another project on Size Corner. Thank you for joining me. It was fun, like always. See you next time.